sort of welcome to West Texas. Uh, I had a colleague uh, out in West Texas at the school, but actually he was a bandmate for several years in the country gazette. His name was Joe Carr. And I hope this is all right to tell this story. Uh, but Joe was a funny guy. He always was, wasn't he? He was the best. You know, he was a really great guy, good musician, really funny, loved funny stories. And uh, Can you remember any Joe jokes just for this honor? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell a story okay. that to me sort of characterizes Joe. Joe loved to talk to people. You know, and he was a great MC for Country Gazette, played great guitar, sang good. But one time we had a Country Gazette reunion in uh, Guthrie, Oklahoma at Byron Burlines Festival. And the stage we were on was an outdoor amphitheater thing and it started to rain. And the sound crew came out and said, oh, we've got to pull all the equipment back. It's raining, it's raining. We don't want to get anything wet. So they pull it all back, cover the speakers. And so we're all backstage wondering what we're going to do. What are we going to do? And so we're back there talking. And do you think it's going to be long? Do you think, have you checked the weather? Do you know what it's going to do? And as we're talking, we hear the audience singing, it ain't going to rain no more, no more. <laughs> and we go, what's going on? And we look out, and Joe Carr, with his mantle, is out at the front of the stage, and he's got the audience singing. <laughs> and so what we did is we went out to the front of the stage and asked the audience to come up to the stage. And we played our set just acoustically at the front of the stage. Well, see, Joe knew that they wanted to be entertained, and he wanted to entertain them. Yeah. And he thought, what's the problem? There's no problem. You just go do it. And so Joe was real funny that way. And I'm going to tell this story, maybe inappropriate in some ways. Uh, but when Joe died, uh, and Paula, his wife, was telling me this story. And as she told me, I thought, you know, Joe would really love this. Uh, somebody asked Paula, are you having a graveside service? And she said, no, we had Joe castrated. And she said, oh, no, no, I mean cremated. <laughs> and Joe would have loved that. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's the kind of guy he was. But, uh, We're loving it for him. I'm <laughs> with him. We're loving it for him and yeah, with him. Yeah, so. <laughs> for sure. Um, he was a very a wonderful, wonderful human. And this song, Welcome to West Texas, is one y'all used to do. <clears throat> this is a song that Joe wrote about living in West Texas, and it has a good bit of Joe's sensibility in it, I think. So. Okay. Well, the we, we got to play this at Joe's funeral. We, uh, a bunch of people were there, and it turned into sort of a, a concert of such with all of his friends. And his